Hi, this is Jacqueline from Jacqueline's DIY Pet Grooming. Today we are demonstrating a puppy cut on a Yorkshire Terrier using a snap-on comb. Lifting her up to get to the bottom part of her legs. There's a mat here. I'm going to change blades to get through that one little mat. And we'll probably use a 7F to get through this mat. Turn the clipper off, put your, snap your blade in there, turn it on, snap it down. This is for this mat here, your snap blade. Just going to shave that mat out. So I used the 7F to get rid of that little mat that she had, but we're using a 30 blade, wide, wide blade, and a comb attachment to make it about 3 eighths of an inch all over. So they want her cut short, but not so short. She still has length on it. Switching blades. Her underarms have mats with the 10 your blade on, turn your clipper on, snap down, pick her leg up. This is a 10 blade for under the under the arms, and we're going to gently scoop out. See there's this skin right here, you can cut that. So you gotta be very gentle. You know where it is. See that mat? You're just gonna gently scoop out those mats. Attempt her nails. We'll start with the back first and just tip these nails. Of course I should put the snoot on. Now I put the the happy hoodie on her head. And she's calmer for me to do her nails. See how calm she is with these, the happy hoodie? I highly recommend them. in her ears because she keeps shaking it out. This prevents water getting down in her ear. Thank you. secret to helping your dog dry faster for us groomers and pet owners is apple cider vinegar sprayed on the body. You let that sit in there for a few minutes before you start drying and towel drying and it really cuts the drying time almost in half. Towel drying your dog gives much moisture with these towels that soak up the water. Just keep going along and get it as dry as you can with the towel. So to help me get through the drying process, I'm going to put my floor dryer on and then I will use the high velocity dryer to blow the water and fluff her coat up. Usually you want to take off as much hair as you can before the bath so you can dry it quicker and then get
get through it faster. After we bathe and blow dry her, we're gonna go through and comb out any mats. After I brush all the mats out, fluff her up, we will go over her body again with the clipper and scissor her and shape her all up and then she'll be done. make a tip to help with the flag. Pretty much when you have a dog that moves all around the table, you just do what you can. Get to whatever position she feels good in, that's the position that you get to scissor her in. <laughs> Maggie doesn't like her legs trim, so we just find all find the what she likes. This on her legs the fullness around her head, so we're gonna lift it forward. And then she likes full ears. And then take your flipper and scissor around her neck. And under her neck. So you always want to hold your dog's beard or face so you have control of the head when you're scissoring. So when she jerks or moves, you stop scissoring. So this is me holding her so I can get in between her eyes. If she moves or jerks, I have control and I know what she's going to do and I'll stop scissoring. I make this look easy, but new, if you're new at trimming underneath your dog's eyes, I recommend getting a scissor with blunt ends. And we're going to comb this forward. We're going to go from the corner of the eye to the corner to her nose, turn her around, and to this side. If we can take your thinning shears. You're all constantly combing forward. anything that hangs around her head. My fingers are at the end of her ear so I know where her ear is. I'm just going to round this off right there. Good girl. Hiya! Before you click away, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for step-by-step -step tutorials showing you how to groom your own pets. And while you're at it, click the link in the description to sign up for my free mini course on dematting, de-skunking, and nail trimming. See you on the inside.